Welcome to Woodland Permaculture. I'm Jenny Wood and today I am giving my chickens what I'm calling a foot spa. So we are going to go through a little process that I found online to ward against or get rid of any foot mites that they might have. I found a couple of lifted up scales on Marigold's toes. I don't know for sure that there are mites under there but there could be, and I want to try and prevent them anyway. So I'm going to start this process with them um, at least every other day for a while so that if they do have some mites, those mites will get, you know, gone. And also just as a preventative, and maybe I'll do it occasionally, you know, every couple weeks once I know they're free of mites. So this is kind of a three-step process. First, I have a bowl of nice, warm, gently soapy water that I'm going to soak their feet in. Doesn't that sound nice? Nice warm water to soak their feet in. Then I have a spray bottle here of vinegar water. And so I, once they're done soaking for a minute, I spray their feet and scrub them gently with this little toothbrush to make sure I get the vinegar underneath their scales and under their feathers that are on their feet. And then finally, once their feet are all nice and clean, they get a lovely oil an oil rub that will help to you know um, smother any mites that are in there and this is just coconut oil with some cayenne pepper and orange oil um, orange oils in there that you know help make it smell nice and are good for the chicken so that's what's in the oil so let's get started with marigold she's the one that tends to be a little more amenable to stuff so i'm starting with her on the video here we go you ready here we go we did this once before so she's not it's not totally new to her here we go there we go look at her she's just gonna soak there in the water for just a minute yeah just to you know get get any dirt clumps softened and drown any mites that are in there there we go and then we're going to lift her out. This is a little bit of a messy process, so wear clothes that you don't care about getting messed up. And I've got my bottle. I'm going to just spray her feet, top and bottom, whoops, with vinegar oil. I mean vinegar water, just white vinegar, nothing harsh. And then I'm just going to gently scrub her little feet. There we go. Yes, especially if you see any raised scales, you want to make sure to scrub really well under there. And if they have feathers on their feet, make sure you do really well underneath the feathers. And I'm going to scrub under on the bottom of their feet, maybe in between their little toes. She's doing so well. Please don't peck me. Yeah, she's doing really well. I, I imagine that this feels good. Kind of is like a foot spa, right? You go to the spa, get your feet done, soak your feet, get them all nice and cleaned. You know, get an exfoliation, you know, just like that. Okay, 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 we're almost done with this part. Once we get this part done, it's really, this is the next best part. You get your nice oil, and I've warmed it up a little bit because it's coconut oil in winter. So now I'm just going to rub the oil on their feet. Hopefully that feels really nice for them and it smells good too. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. Don't give up on me yet. Almost done. And if you see any raised um, scales, make sure you kind of smother that oil in and on top of that because that's what actually smothers the mites. And doing it every couple of days means that any eggs that were in there that hatch, that those new mites get smothered too. There we go, how's that? I think we're all done. See, that wasn't too hard. She didn't, she wasn't thrilled with it, but she's tame enough that she allowed me to do that. And I was able to do the other two as well the other day. So I think this is gonna be a good practice for me to start with at least, you know, after inspecting them, if I see raised up scales to help get rid of any foot feet mice. Slowly but surely, I'm learning new things that I should do with my chickens to help keep them healthy and happy. 
And I mean, they're God's creatures, so I got to take good care of them. And we're all part of the same earth, and we all rely on each other, even our sweet animal friends and family. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this helps you if you have chickens, and I hope that it's something that inspires you to do something nice and wonderful and fun for your sweet chickens. Thanks so much for joining me. God bless. Mwah. You ready? Ready?